For today's video, I'm going to be doing the Q&A from Instagram side. I'll be answering the questions that you guys sent in. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. What is up, Dream Chasers? I hope all you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys are not following me on social media, make sure to follow me at Cisco Casas underscore for my personal accounts, both on Twitter and Instagram, and at Dream Chasers United underscore on Instagram, where I post pictures every day or videos. In this, in, for this week, I'm gonna start doing more of tutorial-based videos on Instagram. So make sure to follow. I also want to say thank you so much to everybody who subscribed to this channel. We are at 300 subscribers as of today, and I'm so thankful for that. So thank all of you guys for watching my videos, liking, and subscribing. But enough of me talking, let's get straight into this video. All right, this question comes from Tangus underscore 2001. He says, or asks, if I am if I am a righty, should I play for right wing or left wing? This is my opinion. If you're a right play, a right footed player, I think the best option for you is to fake left and cut in right and take players on. And then that throws off the defense as well because they have a player coming at them so they don't know which to guard, the player that's attacking them or the player that's making the run. So that makes it difficult. But if you're the type of player that, that likes to make them good whips in, crossing the ball in, then I think you should play on the right side. You could fake going towards the middle, you take the ball out, and you give a good cross. So, it really depends on what kind of player you are and what kind of things you like to do. So, that's a real tough question. But for me, personally, I'll go with the left side. This question comes from Thwan889512. He asks, How to balance school and football slash soccer effectively? So, how to balance school and soccer effectively? I think the most important thing is you have to understand your schedule. All right, I'm gonna go to school from 8 a.m. to 3, or I mean 4 p.m. By the time it's 4 p.m., I'm gonna be home. I'm gonna eat a snack, whatever. Maybe do some homework, maybe one subject homework, then go training, and then after that, come home, finish up my homework, and maybe do a little workout afterwards. So this is where you have to really Focus on what you really want because during Monday through Friday, you're going to be busy with school and soccer, so you're not going to really have any spare time for other things. So that's when the weekend comes. The weekend is when you could either choose to go out or keep putting in the extra work in those three days, which is Friday afternoon, Saturday, and Sunday. So you have to balance it, you have to understand what are my priorities and what do I want for my future? So make the change now, guys. Start at a young age and start putting in the extra work. Start scheduling your, your week. Do all that. Great question. All right, this next question comes from Devanshu underscore Mishra underscore official. He asks, what will help me gain weight fast, gym or calisthenics? I am an ecto ectomorph, so please answer in your next Q&A. All right. Thanks for sending me the question, Devonshu. Um, I hope I don't, I didn't mess up that name, but that's a great question. So, ectomorph, I think, means that you don't put on weight as easily. You're a, you're built like a maybe like a lanky, like tall and skinny, and kind of like a Peter Check, where you just don't have the muscle. And I think the best way for you to build muscle is you have to eat a ton. And I mean it, cause I'm the same. I'm not tall and lanky, but I'm I was I'm just short and skinny. But I made the decision. I have to eat. I have to eat. I have to eat. I was eating at least six to seven t snacks, food a day, on top of doing a workout. So I would say for at the beginning, start with body weight workouts at home, and slowly build your way up to the gym. Don't make the mistake I made where I went from my home workouts straight to the big weights it's a slow process and it takes time you're not going to gain weight in a month two months it's going to take a year or two to slowly start seeing a big difference in your body so good luck with that this question comes from kogali kogali 
He asks, who supported you in your soccer career? Well, I think everybody in my life somehow supported me in my soccer career. Even if they were haters, it shaped me in some way. But like the actual support like pushed me on. Number one, my family, my very close friends, my cousin Jose, which he's always been there for me, bro. Much love if you're watching this video. <clears throat> yeah, close friends, which they know who they are. But yeah, it's it's more importantly been family, close friends, and myself. And as well, God. And uh, I don't know if you guys are close with religion or spiritual belief, but that's something I hold very strong is that every night I pray. And it just gives me an inner peace and uh, knowing that everything's going to be alright, even with whatever is happening. So, Kigali, that's my answer. Friends, I mean close friends, family, myself, and God. Thanks for the question. Tony Ma, 30, asks, asks, I'm so bad with S and K, asks, what is your dream club you want to be on? And he has a picture of uh, Messi as his profile, so start off with that. I like to play for Barcelona. That's like the pinnacle, I believe. Um, Barcelona has been my team for a long time. Crazy underscore little underscore shardy as asks what motivates you this is a great question what motivates you before i answer this question i want you guys to answer below what motivates you let me know in the comments below if you made it this far because a lot of you guys don't finish the whole video but if you guys are this far in this video please make sure to comment below what motivates you but for me personally what motivates me now is wanting to succeed and wanting to to give my family a better life although they when i tell them about when i talk to them about like i don't care about the money i just want to like like i don't care about the money even though i know the money is necessary it's not like when i get money i'm gonna be like oh my god money money you know i'm gonna know i have it there the most important things to me is my happiness so as long as i'm playing football and if i'm making money then it's cool but the money is just to live life I guess because for everything you need to pay but my family is what motivates me and and chasing the soccer career being happy that's what motivates me having having to choose the life I want to choose but for anything I, I don't know I want to do it for my parents even though they they're like no you, you can't be thinking about it that way that we can they say we could we could live on our own and whatever like you have to do it for yourself yeah i'm doing it for myself i mean i'm not gonna go play soccer just because i want to do it for my family no first off i want to do it for my happiness and because that's what i believe is right but i know that if i keep growing and growing and growing and growing money is going to start growing as well but when i get that money it's going to be all for my family and my and the people that were close to me the ones that are with me writing right now so yeah, that's that's the most important thing to me is for my family and then my happiness. That's that's what it is. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like the like button, comment or subscribe if you're new. Monday we're gonna be doing a uh, giveaway video, so stay tuned for that. You know, guys, as always, keep working hard, stay humble, and remember that one day we will reach the top. See you guys in next Monday's video. Peace.